I think we should be in pretty good shape with this setup. It'll give us some room finally to put away some parts that I haven't been able to, such as um, heart rate and pulse sensors, um, more MQ2 smoke and gas sensors, but we can get those put away as well. More kind of, this would be microcontroller related. This is a, a RFID reader. I think, I think it belongs in here as well. Um, yeah, I think it should be in here. It'll go in with kind of the oddball stuff. Let's kind of jam everything under there. But basically, we filled another bin with only marginally emptying, emptying another and uh, picked up some space. Now I can go through and really let my OCD run wild, make everything kind of relatable in each bin. And I guess, long story short, I don't think I'm going to put all the breadboards and stuff in here and after all. I think I'll move the breadboards back to uh, probably this container. And yeah, we'll just keep this one just strictly for actual microcontrollers. There's a Pi camera. That definitely needs to go with the Pi's. And now it's one stop shop. When I need a micro or a control logic board, I can grab there. If I need a sensor or some electronics or push button or some wires or you name it, I can grab it from here and it'll be much, much, much easier. Cool guys, I'm glad you guys could stop by today. Uh, just silly fun setting up the workbench and setting, yeah, just making things work for us. Uh, it's great to have these cases. I simply love them. Uh, this this is by far the best setup for my microcontrollers and and uh, sensors and stuff. Grab it and go, and you can build anything anywhere. It's really really cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you uh, in a couple of days. Cheers.